Welcome to Eve Singularity. I'm Major Freak. Uh, this is Theory Crafting, a an Oster House. Um, I've got quite a few of these, and I'm going to explain my reasoning in a bit. But let's jump right into it. Um, I've got an unrigged, all mine are rigged, but I've got an unrigged Astra House with three ECM, and I've got about eight minutes and now if you have a fleet that hits theoretically the the damage cap on this up well it'll take about 15 minutes to kill it or like put it into a reinforcement now that's what player corps used to in high sec the high sec war deckers are used to hitting damage cap you know having a couple of players with multi-boxing and just you know sitting at zero and plugging away at a at a low power unfueled the guys being afk for weeks and they know it's an easy target and if somebody does defend something like this say they have it in there they're up against something like this they know that in about less than 10 minutes it's going to cap out and they're going to have a cakewalk so that was my idea coming into the pot, um, the upwell business and i was like okay um i know the way it's it's pretty simple that run in the mill amateur war decker in isaac it wants easy kills quick kills doesn't want to bother about it and he's not really going to be expecting at anything beyond his comfort zone and his comfort zone is quick easy simple and he's not going to realize he's not even going to conceive of the ability to have a pos like this operate for an hour and that's something he's not even going to bother with uh, or a couple of them you know say maximum say three players fielding maximum of nine ships you know on average we're assuming so that's our enemy. Uh, the, we're trying to outwit somebody who just doesn't want to bother too much, you know? And if we are place ourselves higher than the lowest hanging fruit on the tree, we're going to be ignored completely. And we can go about a business and not get ganked and yada, yada, yada. Just, it's, it's play play smart don't mine within a few jumps of Jita in untanked exhumer you know that kind of thing so I feel safe um, out here with my clones because I've got multiple clients and that's a big investment and I don't trust I'd love using switching a, an, a clone out implant set at an upwell I just switch it out instantly cheaply uh, no cooldown uh, move on to my task dock up switch back back to my main which is a mining uh, character um, implant set and yeah if I have a task switch out switch back when I'm it's the most wonderful feeling to be able to do that but it's a lot of investment I mean you've seen them implant sets are like if you're smart they're hover around a billion and if you've got multiple clients, it's like five billion. So me plunking down, the cost of this is about, like if I do it cheaply, like tech one everything and don't have any fighters, probably like the whole cost 900 million on average and then maybe a bill more for the cheap stuff. So two billion, I'm talking about a $4 billion investment. Uh, most of that is in fighters actually and half that is in surplus fighters in your items bay ready to shove into the uh, fighters bay when you need it uh, when you're being damaged you can't take anything out but you can put stuff in anyways uh, that was the preamble now then we've got just less than 11 minutes right so if I plug in rigs which are another investment uh tech one rigs they'll cost you about 200 million a pop if you're smart and you pick the right ones um 
Now I brought along the rigs I use myself on Tranquility, and they, uh, one of them's a range for the ECM, it boosts it from 75 to 100. Yeah, it's, it's nice, you got the same range now as your uh, um, Tech 1 Heavy Energy Newts don't use extra heavy, unlike every, every other neutralizer in the game. This has a, a kind of like a gun signature radius that the bigger it is, the less damage it'll do to smaller ships. Yeah, go figure, right? All right. So, um, yeah. Now then, let's get into theory crafting. So now we've got 22 minutes plane. But I don't understand it. When I hit that, that'll go to half an hour. I don't understand the math. I've tried to figure it out. Maybe it doesn't calculate rigs, but it does. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea why. But I'll plug in the numbers for less skilled. Uh, this is a almost max skilled character, as you can see. I've got a day left for my missile systems. But it's, uh, it's the best you can get. And if you don't use your newts that much, which is an odd thing to do, but if you really want to game it out, um, you could keep these running for an hour. And with seven targets, you could really screw somebody's day up. But yeah, it's, this is something that just, it would just come as a complete surprise to them. 10 minutes, they're like, why is it still ECMing us? And 20 minutes, why is, and they're just, just like, we're giving up because you're just breaking their locks, nuding them out, doing damage. And this is just one of your characters. And I've got five other characters who are perfectly willing to go into Blackbirds, um, cheap thoraxes for gank, uh, just, you know, catalysts even, but it probably wiped out the field quick. Um, but yeah, we're talking about counters to things you can't see what war decker would want to do that right or high sec lazy war decker we're talking the average run of the mill so yeah uh that's a lot i'll plug in a description of what the duration you'd get out of um lesser skilled characters i highly recommend oh and by the way you can't use neutral characters to fire on war targets yeah unfortunately has to be in corp okay uh, in high sec of course so down to the actual theory craft here because we want to see yeah can I make it cap stable I was hoping I could make this cap stable I mean this is just wow can I even get high stability I I don't know so, with that in mind, I'm going to try to make this cap stable. I, I don't think it's possible. Oh, and by the way, while we're waiting for this, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Do it this way. It's always easier when you're just a. Uh, okay. There we go. Yeah, when you're switching uh, technology levels, just use info. It's so much easier. Okay, now, do I have enough? Come on, please, 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 please. I think these are really, really expensive, though. That's why I didn't want to go for it. Oh, I can do it. <gasps> awesome. Um, now, what would you give me my bigger bang for the buck? Cruise. 
Oh, that's pretty anemic, isn't it, eh? Wow. It's quite a loss. Alright, let's see if I can get... Oh. That was a lot. That was a lot of CPU. Wow. Ow. Damn it. Yeah, if you're gonna go for... Oh, wow. I'm stable. Damn, I can make this stable. I'd lose DPS, though. My old alliance, my old uh, CEO, uh, Nick Sikurso, definitely go go for DPS. You know? He admonished me to go full ECM because he only lasts 15 minutes, but, you know, he's a really good player. Um, and he knew his fits, too. Uh, he might not have known high sex as much, but I trusted his opinion. Um... Jeez. What was the DPS? I mean, that's the equivalent of having a DPS of... Yeah, I mean, I was up near 3,200. You know, that's a lot of DPS I'm dishing out. And to... I mean, that's... That's hovering between level 1 and 2. Right there. Man. I don't know that cap stability is looking really nice, but I not, wouldn't be using... See, if they're still here an hour, plugging away, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'll go DBS. All right, it was it was nice to actually see though uh, with full newts. That's thirty minutes. Yeah, it's just two minutes. You're just literally saving yourself two minutes. Damn it! Oh well, I tried. Okay, so, hey, that's it's cool. I checked that out. Now then. Let us try to see. See, one of my favorite techniques against upwells is using a, a halo implant and extinct uh, drug um, nemesis, which takes a crazy amount. Like, that's 50, right? It'll take over a minute to target me, and I can get off like four or five volleys and then cloak up again. But I was thinking, wait a minute, can I actually send my, you know, can I send those suckers off to orbit? Come on. There we go. And hit micro. Can I get in close enough to prevent it from cloaking up? Fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. And then the... Okay. So, although I'd hit Michael Warp, it got them moving out, but they'd be orbiting at five kilometers anyways. And I don't think it would work. So yeah, I mean, it's a really good technique. I just, you know, uncloak, start firing again. You know, really took him off. Let's see if I can actually get this sucker. All right, come on guys.
Oh, there. What? Can I get them to orbit closer? I guess it's not possible, is it? I think it's about as tight as it's going to get, isn't it? Orbit. Can I get that? Can I get the... Oh, I can do that. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. That definitely counters it. All right. Yep. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, what's the speed? Yeah, what's... Could he still... It was... I could... Yeah, yeah, so how far is it? Four. Oh, yeah, okay. Four and four. Yeah, consistently four. All right, so I, I wouldn't be able to use the micro warp to get to him because it wouldn't really... I'd just be able to cloak up. I'd see it coming in and cloak up. But it would definitely... Definitely prevent me from... You know, I mean, if he was on the ball, it would definitely uh, make some huge problems with me being able to put consistent damage on the apple. Cool. Right on. Okay, that's tested. Um, I think I've... I'll put this information about the duration in the description. I'll put the fit in the description. Um... Yeah, it's all about lowest hanging fruit. <laughs>